if you are a white woman and you are dating in love with married to a black man i want you to listen up there are certain things that you need to know and i don't think this is spoke about enough but um the most dangerous thing in this world are the tears of a white woman welcome back to the youtube channel my name is ambassador vix and i am back with another awesome video on this channel we talk about the positivity about africa and africans in this episode we are treating the consequences or the repercussion of the tears of a white woman especially in an interracial relationship so if you're a black guy watching me right now or a white woman watching me right now wanting to date a black guy then this content is for you because the tears of a white woman is devastating especially to the black partner if you're first time seeing this face on your screens kindly subscribe to the channel you comment a like and you share let us move right into the video there are certain things that you need to know and i don't think this is spoke about enough but um the most dangerous thing in this world are the tears of a white woman and if you truly love the black man that you are with you need to know that you need to have his back and protect him at all costs including protecting him from yourself and what do i mean by that my son was dating a white woman my son is biracial um they got into an argument in public and she started to scream and cry and my son immediately left the scene she was outraged she couldn't believe my son left my son left because my son knew that if he stayed there and this woman was crying and screaming at him, a black man, there was not going to be any questions asked. He was going to be thrown to the ground. He was going to go to jail. It was not going to be any questions asked because this white woman was crying and screaming about him. Now, I'm sure this female may have been hurt. Her feelings was hurt. She was a little emotional. However, when you are dating a black man and you're a white woman, you need to understand that sometimes your fucking feelings and your emotions have to take a fucking back seat to not cause harm to the person you are dating, that you love, that you are married to. And I'm not telling you that if you are truly in fucking danger, not to get help. But if you're just emotional, you're just pissed off, and you want to scream and hoop and holler, in public is not the time. Because that can turn out very deadly for the black man that you claim to love so much. Whether you realize it or not. If you were just dating a white man and you were yelling, nobody would really pay any attention to that shit. But when people see a white woman and a black man and you're screaming, all hell will break loose. Because when white women cry, everybody responds. Even if the shit is stupid, even if it's frivolous, even if it's a lie. The most deadliest thing in this world are white women tears. I have said this time and time again. And I learned this very, very early in life. I grew up in the projects. I was raised by two wonderful black women that helped my mother raise me. So I know what I have witnessed, what I have experienced, and I know for a fact of what I speak. I learned very early in life that I could be a voice for my friends and my family because people would listen to me far more than they would listen to them. And if you listen to anything I have ever said to you on this app, 
If you are a white woman and you are dating a black man, you are in love with a black man, you are married to a black man, you need to know that you need to have his back and protect him at all costs, even if it is protecting him from you. Handle that shit at home if you are not in danger. This story, as narrated by the black woman, is not just an isolated incident. It is a reflection of a broader issue. I know for the fact that emotional um, responses are natural, but in the case of interracial relationships, especially in a public setting, it could be misinterpreted, leading to a devastating consequences on the black partner. The tears of a white woman, often seen through biased lenses, could escalate situations disproportionately, especially when some of these situations are not investigated thoroughly. Even if the lady is not a white woman, especially in the Ghanaian context, anytime that a guy is walking with a lady and the lady gets a bit emotional or the lady starts crying or shedding tears, you see that most of the people's attention will gear towards them because they might have the perception that maybe the guy has done something to the lady. But if you have to put a thorough investigation into it, it might mean that maybe the lady did something of which even the guy was not all that emotional about it, but maybe the guy offered an advice to her. And because women in a natural state are emotional, they get emotional and that could also result to that. So anytime that a black guy and a white lady are walking or maybe they're in a public setting, most of the attention adheres towards them because they would like to know the aftermath of their meeting or them, them sitting down. So when something of that sort happens, as a black guy watching me, I said in the video, please, you need to bolt off or you need to bolt. Because when people come around or when, when the awareness is drawn to people and those people come around you guys, you are going to be held responsible. At first, you are going to be questioned. And before you be questioned, you might be getting one or two slides before they will even ask you what really went, went wrong. If you're a black guy, especially if you're watching me and you're a Ghanaian and you're wanting to date a white woman, or you've already gotten married, or you are actively dating a white woman, you might not know about this, but try as much as possible not to you to be emotional to do something to get her emotional. Sometimes you are supposed to understand that, you know, women in a natural form, they are emotional beings. So anytime that they do something that even needs your reaction, you're supposed, you supposed to be conscious about anything that you do, especially in the public setting. Because if anyone sees you or when you're being reported, you have an issue. This is not something that just happened according to what she stated, but it is something that lives in a broader context. When you come back to Ghana as a Ghanaian, anytime that a guy is working with a lady, there's an attention. And anytime that the lady gets emotional, we presume that maybe the guy has offended the lady or beaten the lady. Hence, you will be held accountable. I am not saying that a black guy and a black woman are not important as compared to a black guy dating a white lady. No, I'm just giving you a fact that in terms of you, a black guy dating a white woman, it is very crucial to be attentive in anything that you do because Anything that you do, you will be held accountable because we have the general perception that as a black person, especially being a gentleman, you are dangerous. Recently in Ghana, a single guy got killed just because the situation was not all that put into a thorough investigation to know that maybe the single guy was actively dating that married woman. But because the single guy came out and the people saw him and he was questioning that, what are you doing here? The lady, upon seeing that maybe when the people come to realize that she as a married woman dating a single guy, it could have problems for her relationship. The lady lied that no, this guy is a thief without even asking the guy. They didn't even pay attention to what the guy actually wanted to tell them, to show them the proof that, oh, I have the chart here. I have everything here. She, actually, she even actually called me. I've, even, I've even, even sent her money before. There wasn't any thorough investigation or questions and answers. He was just killed. All right. So I'm not telling you that maybe it's just an incident that happened. And as a result of that, I'm here to say anything that I would like to say. It is something that I want to bring to the notice of the people, especially my black guys who are actively dating or wanting to date or get married to white women. 
it is something that we need to be aware of just educate yourself be aware of some of these things in the society because it is very important anything that you do slightly you might end in jail let me know about what you think about this content subscribe to the channel for more amazing content about africa and africans my name is ambassador vix see you next time in another episode Thank <laughs> you.